everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Project channel. Very cool, very windy. Uh, still not that like hot, hot weather. And let's get to it. Quite sure how this works, but uh, just going to take them out. I guess when once they start killing the, careful, the salt, they go like, yep, they fill in the salt and they bring, <laughs> they bring all their tongues out. Okay, Z. Okay, we have to back up a bit. Okay, little dudes. There they go. Okay, so they all went into the water and uh, that's it. And now I suppose they will just like go down onto the sandbanks, okay? And just drill themselves inside to the sand. So it's better than being in the shop and just, uh, you know, just couldn't leave them there. <laughs> it's really cool that I released them because there's so many dead shells. So this was actually cool. It must be full to see all these guys. Get them doing their own thing, all happy. <laughs> what a great life, eh? Amazing. Using the restore table, so let's restore the chairs. But yes, beautiful scenery. This is what we work for. This is it. Okie dokie. So let's check to see how our crystals are going. Okay, so. Wow. What a difference, people. Now we put it into distilled water. Okay, that's what I normally do. Wow, what a difference! <laughs> Success! Yes! Wow, that one's really clear. Let me put it here. So, how are you all doing? Welcome to the Daily Lives Project channel. Yes. So, looking good, looking good. All cleaned up. Shiny tires. Look at that, guys. Let's so wash it inside. No vacuum. Treatment on the plastics. Beauty, beauty. I have to make a plan for all these tools and uh, stuff that at the back so that they don't go from one side to the other um i haven't showed you guys the engine bay on this car or have i i don't think i have so um all cleaned up i think i showed you guys um how these seat belts stay like these cars do not come with um seat belts okay because they're old school, like the old cars, you know. See, so basically that's it. Let me put my hand here. See, just put it like that. Good to go. So I have headroom at the back here. I'm just going to have to get some foam. I think I talked about that already, didn't I? Or maybe not. <laughs> Gotta get some foam so that um, it makes like a cushion here. I'm still seeing if I can get the right foam for this tube and that tube because they're different measurements. Um, 
not something you can just buy here in the shop which I thought you could, I thought it would be easy you know. so yeah, so you see stays here, the seat belts and that's it it's much more secure than um, not having any you know speakers are very cool as I told you guys very good sound and, um, yes it's very comfortable so six seven eight forward seat belts um, got some cool secret features here which I haven't showed you guys but I will show you what time and um, this helps a lot this installation you know so all I do is like avoid leaving the Jeep in the Sun because I don't think you should leave your collectible cars in the Sun you know? <laughs> um, but it does help a lot against the heat you know very very nice so yes there's some things that always have to be maintained you know uh, just gonna put this rubber there was a rubber here out of place that's one right there you know was out of place so things always like will always be having a little maintenance and everything but that's old course you know you go old school you gotta get the tool <laughs> the tire fish on this jeep also on the Raptor because they're heavy cars so I want to make sure the tires are full because uh, I don't drive them a lot uh, it's not like daily drive driven or anything so let's get to it you know let's get to it so these ones are going to stay until the end of this day for a few more hours and then I'll remove them this one's like a geode style that's looking beautiful this one this one is looking really beautiful okay so I just found out this um, just look at the video and I found out that this was just popping out here so they must have not have used enough glue so I'm just going to put some glue, which is quite easy. Just contact glue and just apply it there, you know. It's also not new, that's why it's also got a bit thicker, so. Just roll it up. Okay, now I'm going to need my two hands. Okay, so I've got the glue already there, as you can see. Got the glue there. Now I'm just going to press against it. Just let it always dry a little bit before you press it on okay like you know if you just put it while it's still very wet then it's not really going to work quite well you know that's at least what i do put on both sides and just wait a little bit when i press my finger like that and it doesn't come to with the the glue doesn't come stuck to the finger then i just apply pressure on on the surface and um it stays there for a good time so probably just didn't have enough glue you know so it didn't happen anywhere else it's all good it's all good okay so let's check it out yeah okay so you see i pressed didn't come with on the finger the glue so now it's ready so we just press it up whatever residue stays then we'll just clean it up this is quite um, furry so it's quite easy to take it out okay so just press against that okay and then we just leave it and all this here just pops out here just make sure still a bit gooey just wait a little bit more for that one that's ready and now we just have to push it upwards and there you go make sure it goes right up to the top you know That noise was a big 4x4 with big tires coming down the road. <laughs> okay. There you go. Look at that. That looks brilliant. So very easy to fix stuff like this, guys. Even in the house, you know. Stuff you do in the house, you know. A lot of things they use contact with you wouldn't even imagine. Now if this doesn't have this carpet, oh, this would be hot, guys. This would be quite hot indeed. Okay, so I like that. 
Oh, much better. This was not going to work. And then this, I'm just going to let it dry a little bit more. And then you just see that? Gone. <laughs> That's cool, guys. Very nice. Now it looks all the same. Don't think we need any more. So, that's what I was saying guys about the regular maintenance stuff you got to do. Um, because although everything looks pretty, you always got to check things up, see if it needs this, if it needs that, you know. That's how you maintain these beauties. <laughs> okay, so, pull up the tires of the Raptor now. Because the Jeep are done. Uh, got to check the battery of the Jeep because I think... It's uh, gone, spilling over liquid. Let's see what's that all about. I think it's bad quality batteries, you know. Uh, I'm going to have to buy a new one. Okay, so the Jeep is washed, the van is washed, the caddy, and uh, this one's going to have a wash now. Okay, the Mazda's also not bad, um, the Honda needs a wash. And uh, I need to pull up the tires of this one now. So we got it on the Jeep. Touching. Amazing. Okay. So, thing about having a lot of cars is um, you always got to manage your space, you know. So. I have to take the Honda out and the Mazda and uh, try to arrange space so we can use more of these two cars because I have to work on the battery of the the Jeep and clean up that uh, liquid of the battery. Got out now to manage your space, you know. <laughs> the good thing is that in the other headquarters, I already have the other two cars there, the Saxo and the the caddy so I actually managed to get a lot of space on that so it's quite cool looks like a spaceship you know I really like this car a lot and I like this little sweet red candy button right here make sure you got your gear out of you that would be a good idea I like this candy button even more <laughs> There we go, it is on. Okay, here we go. Limited edition. I like this car a lot. Got a good deal on it. Coppers to match the car. I kept the original red ones because they're very hard to find, you know. At least if I wanted another car, I could, um, I could get one because now I have more space. Um, I don't know what to get, you know. Uh, might change, I was thinking about changing the Saxo, but uh, everyone likes the Saxo. Uh, it's a crazy little car. <laughs> so, um, still haven't made up my mind, you know. Gotta search, you know. So, if you guys have any ideas that are not expensive, <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> um, it was used by the military so it's got a military history and that's why for me it's a beautiful beautiful car you know so now I just got to keep on uh, maintaining it the I forgot to say the back uh, brakes the rear brakes used to be drums and we converted it to discs um, I didn't show you guys the last time as you can see, now it's the disc brake. Uh, it doesn't come original disc brake in the rear, so we did that. Okay, and now it brakes much better, of course, because it's very heavy and the brakes were a disaster. This got all refurbished, the whole thing brakes, cubes, um, everything. We had left some residues in there as well. I don't know if you guys can see, you see there? All that crust down there. See, now I've got to clean all that up and get some paint. Very, very cool. And we got 
a Honda which we will be doing a review soon okay we just have to do that one and the Raptor so the way this Jeep was and it is now guys has nothing to do uh, with what it used to be military history came all the way from Africa we are in Portugal just for you guys to see how far it came and I hope they keep on racing them and running them in Dakar 2024 25 was uh, last year it did and it's just getting way more famous okay guys pretty cool let's continue so we opened up the lid which came out quite easy because it has clips see but it was full of um, water so that means that it's not um, it's not uh, keeping the water from coming out you know it's not sealing so we're trying to boot our rings just for now here very thin ones use these ones use this these thin I ones these ones yeah is this what i used yes yeah, very thin ones because okay. there's no tolerance here for the thicker ones so I have to send this battery back because this bad manufacturing 24 months warranty and it's really letting go up the liquid it's actually quite deteriorated in, inside as well it shouldn't be with less than a year it's very strange look at that so yeah manufacturing defaults not good okay so the rings we had the thin ones gave it's in place doesn't pop out and uh, let's see what happens so now I gotta clean up the Jeep thank you that <laughs> So we got a neutralizer for the battery acid. See that um, act for a while, do its thing, and then uh, pass a cloth, and it's done. Basically, it is done. How cool is that, eh? Pretty cool. So that tube, I'm going to put a wider one. I already got the tube and everything. I have to do that tomorrow. I'm going to widen up that exit right there and put a bigger pipe, okay? Because then when we do the roof over here, the carport for the cars, then that will go over, okay? So yes, pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed that, maybe it's a cool idea for you guys. You know, nothing special, simple, quick. Okay guys, so let's get this rock clean, pass this boulder to the other side where I'll show you guys just now uh, I've cleaned already some small rocks yeah see nice big ones here yeah. see so this is why we're getting so much of this dirty crystal this must be marble looks like marble or pink quartz but it's quite um, dirty when I say dirty in this case it's like it's not clear you know it looks like a trunk. I thought this was an old uh, tree trunk because I do have two stones that a, a person gave me once many years ago um, that he found in his garden some old tree trunks that are like oh, it's very old, like dinosaur old <laughs> and they became rocks. I'll show you guys then. So that's why it will be very hard to get clear crystals I think so I'm just being realistic <laughs> which is good and now we're gonna clean these ones up over here okay uh, let's get to it That is heavy, eh? Yeah. 
Sim, ali tem que se apertar mais as tábuas. As tábuas. Daqui. Ok. Agora, Agora eu deixei ele tombar para cá. Agora vai para aqui. Deixa eu cair assim. Assim, um pouquinho assim. Very nice. Ela escorre. Põe assim, assim escorre, vai ter razão. Senão vai acumular muito o lodo. Ok. Perfect. So that was a good exercise. Good exercise for my dad as well. He's very happy. Aren't you happy? Oh yeah. <laughs> He's very happy with that exercise. And uh, <laughs> that's actually, uh, that, that weighs like three times that one, oh, four. <laughs> quite heavy. So, but it looks beautiful here. That's really, you can't buy this, you know, you gotta dig it. <laughs> excavate. Excavate. Okay, now I'm gonna wash this one here. And this one here we're going to use, I'm going to put a bit of, um, I'm going to put like a sponge, okay, like a foam, a uh, high density sponge at the bottom just to level, level it when we put it down on the table like that. Because it's going to go to that table on the tent, okay, the outdoor tent. And uh, we can like put pots and pans or whatever, you know. And it's really, this looks like it was sculpted on purpose, I mean. I'm still clueless how this ended up becoming like that. Looks like a drop just went in here like over several years and just carved the whole rock, you know. I don't know, but it looks pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so let's get these ones out. It's been enough time. Okay guys, so as you can see, now that we got them in the sun, you can see them sparkle, right? <laughs> and check this one out, guys. Whoa. So much going up in there. That's like cave. <laughs> so bright and shiny, even on the outside, so like that was a beauty it's, this one was also very beautiful so maybe this one guys wow how cool is that i know it's not much but like i say in the backyard you know normal house pretty cool and this is the one that was very very dirty remember all brown now it's got like this white sediments but that you'd have to like scrape and stuff but i'm not i'm just going to leave it like this because it's quite shiny the tips can you see there reflects this is a big one if it was transparent it would have been beautiful but it's not this one's more crystal like transparent style you can see Let's go the light pass through. This one as well. Quite transparent. But they're all like milky, you know, still. See? There's the shine the light shine through. These are little points that came out some beautiful big one. So even if I don't find any more, it's a cool memory, you know?
and a little tooth. My favorite ones are these ones, obviously, with the opening. And this one, because it's got this opening, and this one, and this one, so, and this one. Yeah, those are basically my favorite ones, and this one. Because they have that entrance, you know, like a geode style, you know. Very cool. Then you got these little transparent ones, those are quite cool. So that's about it. Not bad. Hey, for a garden hunt. <laughs> Guys, tired, very dirty. <laughs> I need to go and shower. And um, really got more content for the next video. So um, stay tuned, guys. Okay. Um, don't miss the next videos. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And uh, we'll just keep on rolling. Out. Mm -hmm.